Hello and welcome comrade! I'm Get Out and this is Tutorial 11 for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Today we are flying high in the sky and making some money. The topics are airplanes and tourism. In case you missed the previous tutorials, the link with the playlist is in the description of the video. Great! Build a runway. Each airplane requires a specific length of runway. Well, of runway. You can even build multiple runways. Great stuff. Even. Even. You can even build them. Build taxiway. Ah, so we have taxiways, obviously. Grass and normal concrete. And we have runway and grass runway. Okay, let's do it. So it works like a road, apparently. Oops. 689 meters. Good work, comrade! Build a terminal. Terminals behave like a regular passenger station. You can also send buses there. Oh! So we have... What is it? We have facilities, control towers, airport road connections, parkings. And for cargo. And for the citizens we have airport terminal and airport terminal. A small and a large one. And a heliport passenger platform as well for helicopters yeah let's get the big one ah so we can place them whenever wherever doesn't have to be close to the runway apparently well they have to be connected somehow build an airplane parking area at the terminal to make a terminal usable you need to build an aircraft parking area for it you can choose the size of the area and how many you want to connect to the terminal. How many parking areas, you mean. Okay. 40 meters, 50 meters, so uh, I guess... Ah, that you, you can build three at the same time. Good to know, good to know. So you can... that's also the entrance, I guess. The little the little airplane icon is where the planes are going to be coming from. Good work, comrade. Build an airplane parking area. To purchase your aircraft, you need a dedicated solitary airplane parking area. This will behave like a depot for aircraft and will allow you to purchase airplanes. So the same building. We don't have like a, a special depot. Eh, that's unfortunate. Now you will connect everything via taxiways. Taxiways are used by airplanes when they move between terminals, parking and runways. Oh, that makes sense. More taxiways can speed up the takeoffs and landings, as the airplanes can have multiple paths available. Well, that complex, com well, that makes complete sense. Good job. Build a control tower. You need a control tower to coordinate the movement of airplanes, whether they're landing, taking off, or taxing between locations. And we have 20 people to work there. Oh, and it also can be whatever it wants. Okay, we have to build it at the highlight position. Curious? Like, can I build it like kilometers away? That would be weird. Connect the tower to residential buildings. The operation of control towers requires workers with university education and the tower must be staffed at all times to facilitate air travel. <laughs> that makes all sense. Asphalt road? No, I have to... Ah, yeah. True. Good job. Hmm, looks very nice. It's very cute looking tower. It's very, um, Soviet, right? This, uh, turning with the mouse is very, very weird. Good stuff. Okay. And how is our terminal? Also very Sovietic. Sovieti? I don't know. <laughs> uh, ooh. I like it. Okay. We will purchase our first airplane. We will use this airplane to pick up tourists from Soviet countries and bring them to our republic. 
Purchase new vehicle or mechanism. IL-18 in the Soviet Union. 38 meters long. No, 38 meters wide, 36 meters long. 92 passengers. Takeoff distance 650. Good work, comrade. Oh, there it is. Oh, the planes actually look super nice. Ooh. Okay, select the first stop. We will set up our stop as beyond the border Soviet countries. The airplane will go there to pick up tourists. New stop. Good job. And then the other stop should be the terminal. Correct. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Launch the airplane. Launched. Build a hotel. Let's build a hotel close to the terminal so new tourists can be accommodated in it. Let's keep this guy here. Okay. Tourism. City hotel. Hotel four stars. What's the difference? Minimum amount of tourists? Yeah, a lot of differences. Excellent! Lenin would be proud, as usual. As usual. Oh, I lost the plane. No. Okay. Build a side tower. Tourists need some attractions. Attractions can be visited by tourists and citizens alike. You can also use attractions to fulfill the demands of your citizens. Cool stuff! So they also uh, so they bring tourism, but they also are used by your own people, which is great and it makes a lot of sense. Every attraction has an expected rating score. Tourists will choose the buildings with the highest score. Tourists remember attractions they visited and won't visit them multiple days in a row. Tourists will visit the same attraction only after some days have passed. Side Tower Side Tower, Side Tower 2. We have two Side Towers. Excellent! Lenin would be proud. Build a zoo. Every attraction has a variable rating score based on its location. The score is calculated by various factors depending on the attraction type. Those factors are, for example, distance from water, sight from the building, nature around the building, and pollution. Well, that makes complete sense when you think about it. You can try to move the building over various places before setting it out to see which place is giving you the best rating. Zoo. Okay, but how can I see? It doesn't give me any ratings at the moment. Aha, expected visitor score 3.2. Uh -huh, so I guess that's what you will see if you're not in the tutorial. Excellent, Lenin would be proud. Build a swimming pool. Some attractions are related to sports, culture, alcohol or religion. If a tourist wants to participate in sports, they will probably go to a attraction related to sports. Attractions can be also visited by your citizens. For example, attractions related to sports or culture can be used instead of playgrounds. If you want to use an attraction building for your citizens, you should decrease its price level so more of your citizens can afford to visit the building. Aha! So it can be used by both, but the citizens will pay less. So it has to be cheaper if you want them to use it. Residential areas, sport, indoor pool, sport hall, two sports halls. I have plenty of buildings have been added, to be honest. Great job. Good job. Eh, whatever. Build a restaurant. Restaurants provide for the food demand of both citizens and tourists. Tourists can eat in a hotel, but if there are better options around, they will go there. Ha! Huh, like a real tourist. Panorama restaurant. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Build a cafe bar. Cafe bars are like standard pub, but they may be more attractive to tourists. Tourists can also drink alcohol in the hotel if that is their best option or there are no other options around. 
Uh -huh. So they are basically like citizens, but they require their own buildings for everything. The view. Daily CJ. You're doing great, comrade. Build a cargo terminal. Let's say we would like to export electronics from a warehouse to foreign countries via an airplane. We will build a cargo terminal near the warehouse and connect the two using a factory connection. Uh huh. So this is the warehouse where we're going to deliver stuff. And we're going to connect it with a factory connection to a cargo terminal. Uh huh. Okay. Makes sense. And then the planes are going to come here. And they're going to take the cargo. Are you bringing me tourists? Eight tourists. 84 workers. Woof! Build an airplane parking area at the cargo terminal. Similar to the passenger terminal, we need to build a parking spot here for the aircraft. Okay. Uh, the same thing. Build an airplane parking area. Okay, similar. Ah, and of course, um, taxiway. Good work. Excellent work. So, uh, the airports are more free construction than they were before, from what I remember. Two one hundred and four. Two stoi chetri. Yep. Six hundred and eighty. Okay. Perfect work, comrade. Change the airplane type. You can toggle any airplane to cargo mode by pressing designated button. Aha! Really? So they're not like specifically. Aha, so this one probably cannot take general cargo. Cargo only. Aha, uh -huh, so this one is cargo only, but the rest of them can be passenger or cargo. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, good stuff, good to know. Change vehicle type to cargo. Wow, that's awesome! Excellent, Lenny would be proud. Select the first stop, make sure the airplane can load the cargo. Good job. And then we will export, right? You're doing great, comrade. Start. Good job. Build an air... Oh, we are going to produce airplanes as well. Build an airplane production line where we can manufacture our own planes. That probably would take plenty of people. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. That should be a huge building, right? Uh, where is the... I don't see... Uh-huh. Like this. Okay. Good job. Wow. Wow, that's a big, 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 big plant. Look at that beauty. Enormous. Okay, we have here the storage area, right? That's how it looks. Yeah, we have an open warehouse. Sorry, uh... An open storage area and a warehouse for sure. Yeah, yeah, open station for you see. Okay. Build an airplane parking area for the production line, same way as we did for the passenger and cargo terminals. Yeah, we will have to add these. And from it, we will have to do a taxiway so that the. Exactly. There we go. Good work, comrade. Purchase resources for the airplane production line. Everything you have to buy here. Everything. Actually, I'm curious. Are they visualizing it? Uh, aha! Yeah, there it is. There is your steel. And what is the other thing? Can I see here? Aluminium. So this is... Aluminium and this is steel, I guess. I guess. Purchase an airplane blueprint. So this works the same as the with the vehicles. Or uh, not the same, but very similar. And you need a bunch of people working here. I'm curious if they're going to produce as many airplanes as they did vehicles. I really, really doubt it. But let's see. Purchase an airplane blueprint. And two. Hey! That's the one that we could buy, but we can also produce it. Wow, very expensive. Two million. 
Good work, comrade. Set up a blueprint for manufacturing. Cancel current production, cancel all production. Oh, what did I tell you? Holy. They're producing like crazy. Or did they just produce one? What happened? Uh, finished vehicles, zero. Uh, okay, something is interesting. Uh, something interesting happened. So, build an airplane road connection. This building is a connection for construction vehicles to the airport. If you want to build the airport with your own construction office. Aha! Airport road connection. Okay, perfect work. Ah, and we need taxiways. Build a taxi with your resources using the construction. Good work, comrade. Good work. This is all you need to know about airplanes and tourism. Well, it's not exactly everything, but okay. So, they're going to start building this. Do I have to connect the rest of the things? Yeah, but they're already connected here, right? It makes sense. Well, that would be interesting when I start a campaign or something like that. Here, do we have something? We don't have anything. Let's see if he's going to uh, start exporting stuff if we have in the warehouse. He is exporting. He's exporting everything. So he got a bunch of crops, plastics, everything. Okay, nice, nice. So this part here I couldn't quite understand. So current production percentage 5%, 4%. Curtain vehicle in production, this one. Okay, uh, finished vehicles, zero. What about this guy? Airplane, brand new vehicle, delivered to customs house to sell at full price. 11,000. Vehicle is transporting, nothing. Okay. How do you deliver it to the customs house, for example? Launch, change depot, sell vehicle, sell? No, but you have to deliver it. So if you sell it here, 7,000. If you send it to the customs house, 11,000. So how do you do that? I hope that we find in the future a new stop. What happens if we do this? It's just going to go and sell it, right? I imagine that. Aha, yeah, you see? Sell new vehicle. So if you don't give it a return point, it's just going to sell it. Advanced setup, resource limit. Forbid this resource, carry only this resource. Ah, so you have a very tight control over cargo uh, stuff if it's going to be a cargo plane. So this guy came to here. Why? I was landing probably, right? Yeah, he's going to go right here. This guy's going to go up there and fly. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. 44 workers. Wow, 500 kilometers per hour. <laughs> nice. Very fast. Okay. Um, and now, what's going on here? 5%. We're not producing anything. The warehouse is full. This is full. Or we are producing. I guess we are actually producing. It's just that maybe the first one was uh, hacked to be super fast so that we can see the result. Or not. Or now that I remove it. What? We're going to produce the next one? Current production percentage 4%. Current vehicle. This is interesting. Sell finished vehicle for Rup. Ah, and you can immediately send it. Resources needed. 600 work days. 
Well, at least you have a lot of information, so we will figure this out with time. Great! I love these new mechanics. I love how they uh, changed the airports from the previous uh, setups, which I, I knew from before. How about you? Did you find them interesting? The comment section is waiting for your input. As usual, I will ask you to drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.